Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reacting to and recreating one of my very first makeup tutorials. I've seen these videos around heaps on YouTube, but what made me want to do this was recently watching Anna's video of her reacting to one of her old skincare routines and it was just so funny and interesting to see how far she'd come. So I want to do the same thing. I'm really nervous just looking at this. So this is my fall inspired look, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette from November 23, 2015. Now I did list all the products I used in the description box and surprisingly I still have a lot of them. So I've gone ahead and picked those out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's get into the embarrassment. I'm so embarrassed already. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with so priming our face. I'm going to be using the Australia Sea Later Pores around my nose and under my eyes here to fill in any pores. And then I'm still trying out the Stila One Step Correct, and I'm going to use that Ooh. on the rest of my face. Just a sample. Okay. Okay, first of all, half my face isn't even in the frame. What's that about? This filming setup, okay, so I had gone and invested like over a thousand dollars into this camera. The screen didn't flip, so I couldn't even see myself, and it didn't have autofocus. So I had this camera set up. Let me talk while I use my Australis CLA Pause Primer. So I had this camera set up on my windowsill with like, I think it was sitting on some books as well to try and get the height right, which clearly wasn't right. I don't think I needed those books. <laughs> Ooh, this primer is actually really nice. I haven't used it for a while, but it's like a cheaper version of the Benefit Pore Professional. My skin feels so smooth where I just put that. So yeah, I remember filming with this camera and it would be so frustrating because I'd go back and watch the footage and it'd all be out of focus. <laughs> the frustration was real. Why am I so rough? Chill. Now the way I would apply these products now is do the Steeler Primer first and then go in with the Porefessional on top because I can't put that Steeler Primer anywhere I've put the Porefessional because the textures just won't mix. I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 110 Porcelain and a Zoeva 104 buffer brush. Okay, I still have both of those things. Well, this is definitely a new one. And my Zoeva 104 buffer brush. These brushes are fantastic quality. Then to get rid of any streak marks from the brush and to make the base look flawless, I'm gonna go over it with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so this is definitely a technique that I still use. So I go in with my Kabuki brush first to blend in the foundation, we'll kind of stipple in the foundation, and then I go over the top with my sponge to smooth it out, because sometimes you can get streaks from a brush, but with certain foundations, a brush just gives you better coverage. Now would be a good time to have a pair of AirPods. Don't come for me with my corded headphones. <laughs> Next, I'll be going in with my Dip Brow in Blonde and my Zoeva 322 Brow Line and filling in my eyebrows. So, I used a pomade back in the day. So yeah, I remember I brought the Anastasia... Stasia? Anastasia... Anasta... Wow. I brought the Dip Brow Pomade of Beauty Bay for like $15 and I thought I was killing it because I had an ABH product. But I don't like pomades that much anymore, so I'm just going to use a brow pencil and fill in my brows. Let me watch how I did this. So I still went like underneath first, kind of filled in the tail. Still kind of like a similar routine. Then I'll be going in. Is that it? Okay, that's a lot less product than um. I thought I would use. <laughs> then I'll be going in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Pumper. This right, is just I'm the going clear gel. The clear so just gel. Turn that through lightly. Upward strokes. Okay, let me see. I it's have tidy. this thousand hour clear gel, so let's go in with that. When I first started doing my brows, I was very 
scared because I felt like they were very bold and would stand out on my face. <laughs> Clearly they don't. Like I do my brows so much darker these days. But I kind of think I need it because I like that they stand out on my face. They give my face some shape and some structure, you know? Then we're going to put an eyeshadow base down and I'll be using my MAC Paint Pot in Paint Okay, I'm definitely glad that I'm using an eyeshadow base. Paint Pot was the shit and I still have that exact same paint pot. I have not touched this in years. And I believe I still have that same brush. This is the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer. But by the looks of it, I don't carve out my brows in any way. Just setting that with a bit of translucent yeah, no. powder. And then I set it with some powder. Done. Oh, I make myself cringe. <laughs> okay, so let's get in with this. I feel like this is too dark for my complexion. And it's quite hard to get up under my eyebrows. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Look how dark that is compared. <laughs> Shit, I think I just went in with a bit much. Okay, do not panic. Do not panic. Let's... Oh, no. I can't believe I used to use this product. Oh. Let's try and blend out that edge. That is way too dark. So what I like to do now is just use a concealer for my eyeshadow primer. I've kind of blended that out a bit. So it doesn't look as harsh, but wow. No wonder I haven't dipped into this product for so long. I think that one can definitely go into retirement. <laughs> and then set it with powder. I do still use the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, except now I'm going to use a smaller brush. That brush that I used, it's far too large. I don't know what I was thinking. Have I even set my face with powder? I haven't yet, have I? Oh my god, my eyelids look horrendous. Okay, what's next? Now I'm going to be using my Too Faced eyeshadow. Chocolate Bar Palette. I've got my little name sheet here. It's really annoying that they're not in there. I'm going to be using my Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush. I'm going in with the shade here, Salted Caramel, and putting that in my crease and blending it up. Okay, I do still have that brush. I have all my Zoeva brushes because they are amazing. Two, three, one. I just need to give it a little clean. And here we go. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. What an oldie. This was the very first. Oh, I still have the sheet too. <laughs> this was the very first high end eyeshadow palette that I ever got. Clinton actually bought it for me as a birthday present. <laughs> so, two, three, one brush in with that matte shade and what am i doing in the crease and and where and putting that in my crease and blending it up in my crease and blending it up so you can see in the video that i am holding the brush down and blending on the other eye i'm going to show you what i would do now because this is not what i would do i would go in with something much more fluffy like this brush here this is the sigma tapered blending e40 dip into that same shade and I'll put it in the crease, but I would aim my brush up so that I'm getting the shadow all up on my lid here so that it's going to be like a transition shade and I'm not just leaving it in the crease. I'm blending it up onto all that space that I have. This brush is also bigger and fluffier, so it's going to blend that product around easier. Whereas this brush is quite tapered, so it's only going to put that product exactly where I put it. It's not going to blend it up any higher. So I hope you can see the difference between this side looks more blended and it's higher, whereas this side is right in that crease. That paint pot is just terrible. Like, this shadow is almost blending, like it looks like that color, especially up on my brow bone. Oh, I do not like that. Okay, what's next? I'm going to be grabbing any flat shader brush and going in with the shade Milk Chocolate and putting that okay. all over the lid. So I'm taking any flat shader brush, going in with the shade Milk Chocolate and putting that all over the lid. So 
I'm kind of patting, kind of swiping, just doing what I really. Why does this <laughs> just <laughs> does not look good? <laughs> okay, okay. Can't wait to hear what I do next. <laughs> Once that's all over the lid, we're going to take the same brush we used for our crease with no extra product on it and just blend the two colors together. Okay. So I'm going to blend through my crease. In the video, like the color obviously looks a lot lighter. I'm very heavy handed these days. So let's use that brush and start blending those two shades together. Cause as you can see, there are some harsh lines. <laughs> well look, at least they blended together. I'm going to darken up the outer V using this Zoeva 225 Eye Blender brush and using the shade Semi Sweet. Semi Sweet. I'm putting that in the outer corner. I'm just going to grab a clean, very fluffy brush and keep blending. Oh, look at it in that corner there. Oh, not good. Okay, so I'm going to pat that darker shade into the outer corner and blend it into my crease. This palette really does smell chocolatey. I kind of forgot that, how strong it is. All right, once we're done there, I'm going to go in with a brown eyeliner pencil and line my tight line and my lash line. I'm then going to apply some mascara and some false lashes. Wow, I'm doing everything so quick. I can't keep up, seriously, Tanika. Slow down, girlfriend. Okay, so I'm blending in this brown shade. I feel like this look had potential, but that base, the MAC paint pot, has just really not done it for me. Like this looks like shit. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue. So I've got a brown eyeliner pencil. I'm going to tight line and line my lash line. I haven't applied false lashes in so long. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair for any blemishes around my face. <laughs> Quite a few. And then I'll be using NARS Chantilly for highlighting under my eyes. Wow, Tanika. Then going in with your, your beauty blender, your beauty blender and blending well, it all I out. I still can't talk so nothing has changed. <laughs> I do have my Maybelline Concealer in 15 Fair, but over the years they have released a lighter shade, number 5, which I do prefer. But I will use 15 to cover up some blemishes, just like I did. And then I don't have NARS Chantilly anymore, so I'll just go in with the Maybelline number 5 because I am highlighting under my eyes. I've definitely stopped using that much concealer under my eyes. Like I still probably go in with a bit much, but that, okay, <laughs> chill. <sighs> I don't know what kind of whacked out order this is of putting on my makeup as well. Like why did I do my foundation and then my eyes? Like you think I would have done my eyes, then my base or my base, then my eyes? Like why am I so cooked? And I'll be setting my concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Pressed Powder. Back in with the powder. Now to bronze up the skin a bit, I'll be using the Napoleon so Curtis Matte. <laughs> I still have that Real Techniques brush. This is not the kind of brush I would use for, my, for under my eyes. Let's go in some... Oh. <gasps> Can't talk, see? <laughs> so I'm going to go in with something a little thinner and smaller to get under the eyes. I haven't used this powder for under my eyes in a while either. I'm not sure. Now to bronze up the skin a bit, I'll be using the Napoleon Purtis Matte Bronze and my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. I still have this bronzer and this was the very first bronzer that I ever bought. And at the time I was so scared of bronzing because I'm like, oh my god, like I'm putting brown on my face. Like, <laughs> so scared, but Let's do it. I haven't used this in so long. Oh my god. What is this angle? Okay. Show the rest of my face. Yeah. Around the hairline. So I do still apply my bronzer like that. Maybe just not so aggressive. I don't know why I'm so aggressive. 
not bad. Forgot to finish the eyes. We'll do that first. I forgot to finish so that. we're going back in with the chocolate bar palette and using a pencil brush or any brush you like to use under your lower lash line. And I'm going in with this nice and gold colour here called Creme Brulee. Excuse me, ma'am. So I'm going in with the shimmer for my lower lash line, but I haven't put any shimmer on my lids and I'm not using a matte on the lower lash line. This colour is seriously amazing. It looks like I've used it six months to get really good pigmentation, but I haven't. haven't it's just haven't amazing. Even used plus. Then oh some mascara Lord. on the bottom lashes. I seriously don't use anything else. Okay, let's go ahead with the gold shimmer on the lower lash line. I would never do this now. Like, I always go in with a matte on my lower lash line to match the top. Like now I feel like the top is so heavy with these big lashes and I guess in the video I didn't go as dark on my lids but the bottom isn't matching the top. The top is just very heavy. Now back to the face again. To the face Going to again. be using my Milani baked blush in Berry Amour. The that. same brush we use for bronzer. Hang on a minute, did I just say the same brush I used for bronzer? Okay, that's cool. Like I mustn't have had a few separate brushes. I feel like all this would do though is put that residue bronzer where I don't really want it. Then for a subtle glow, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. So in with my Light Scapade, again, one of the first high-end highlighters that I bought. Damn, I was really flexing in this video, wasn't I? <laughs> okay, I have not used this in so long. Hmm, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? I feel like it looks a little frosty with the blush and bronzer choice because they are both quite warm and this is more cool toned. I think a gold based highlighter would have been a better choice with the bronzer and the blush options. But that's cool, I just wanted to show off in this video, I guess. That's probably all I had. <laughs> and last of all, lips. I'm going in with this Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Chili Chili. Sorry, terrible view. Sweetie, the whole video has been a terrible view. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Now, I don't have that lip product anymore because those products, you could definitely tell they went off. Like powder products, I feel you can keep them around for quite a while, in this case, years. But those ColourPop matte lipsticks, they stuck. So instead, I'm going to use my Astralis Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Flawless. Mm, this is actually a bit too red. Instead, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spice Girl. I think that might be a bit of a better match. It's a bit darker. Not a hundred percent happy with the eyes, so I'm just I'm going to go in with a with nude liner and line my waterline, and then put Why? a bit more mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so let's put a nude liner in the waterline because that's what we want to do. We want to put more light colors there so that it really doesn't balance out with the top. Seriously, half my face isn't in the frame, like. All right, and so that is the finished look. This is the finished look. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. For my transitions. Every time. Oh my God, this lip color. It is a nice lip color. It's hair on me. Oh, we didn't finish it. Oh, we didn't finish it. Why have I didn't I finish off the eyes? Oh my God. Talk. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, clearly feeling myself when I shouldn't have been. Criticizing myself and the angles again, like the whole thing was just terrible. Like, okay. Okay, well, that is me reacting to and recreating one of my very first makeup tutorials. I do like the vibe I was going for, but now I would definitely update it a bit. So, 
with the eyes. I would definitely put a matte shade on the lower lash line. And as I mentioned, I would use more of a warm tone highlight to match the warm tone blush and bronzer. I would definitely use a different primer for my lids. A concealer is the way to go. And I love using a concealer because I can carve out my brows. They don't look too bad, but yeah, I would definitely change that. It's actually interesting to see how far I have come with doing my makeup, like I'm no professional, but watching that back I can definitely see areas that I have learnt and improved on, so that's good. Well if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to laugh at me and watch my cringiness then go back and watch my old videos because they are something. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.